Hi, I'm Jim Dilley, 6 lg for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room. I'm going to install a coax connector and I'm going to do it really quick. Um, I need a, a jumper for my station, so I had this one from another pro this uh, short piece of coax from another project. What I'm going to do is um, nip off the or cut off the end. And I'm going to do this with some of the proper tools. If you want to use a knife, uh, go for it. Um, you can even use a pair of scissors if you want. I'm going to use a coax prep tool and to position the tool on the coax I'm just going to sort of eyeball it. Um, I know that the center conductor I want to extend past the end of the pin so I'm going to cut it at a point where it will be a bit long and then trim it afterwards and that'll make more sense after I get it together. Okay, I've pulled that off and I'm going to take off the uh, the dielectric. So, and the next thing I have to do is remove a little bit of the jacket on the coax. So I've got the center conductor long on purpose and I'm now going to pull off a little bit that uh, didn't quite cut through so I'm going to do it manually here. Okay. And that's off. So now I've got about three eighths of an inch of braid. I've got about an inch and a quarter inch and an eighth of center conductor. I'm going to do a, um, uh, a crimp connector as opposed to a solder type because I like the crimp better. So I'm going to open a bag got to remember to put the ferrule in. It's hard to do this one wrong. You can forget to put on the uh, the barrel of the PL259 and solder it, but um, you can't crimp it without this ring. So I'm going to push that on. So, um, and use these. Make sure there's nothing going across. Now I'm going to push this down until it's pretty much up against the jacket. And then I'm going to slip the ferrule over, grab the crimping tool, crimp that. Then I'm going to um, cut this off and I drop something on the floor. All right, now all I need to do, and I'm going to do that off camera, is solder, uh, get solder to flow in through the pin. That's installing a coax connector. Um, how do you test it? There's a guy who did a video and he licks the coax connector. I don't recommend you do that. Um, puts an ohmmeter on one end and licks the other. Uh, it, I don't even want to go there. So, uh, transmit through it. Uh, test it with an ohmmeter, of course, real quick, and if it shows open, it's probably okay. Uh, you can check continuity from pin to pin, um, but put it in the transmitter, put a few watts through it, make sure it works okay, and then go to 100 watts. Um, it's just that easy to install a coax connector, and it's much easier than uh, fiddling around with uh, a PL259 that you have to solder through these little holes and not melt the dielectric. All right, get these things off. That's it. That's how you put on a coax connector. And it's the same thing for uh, RG58, RG8X, RG59, LMR400. It's the same process. And uh, that connector will work fine. It's uh, just got to do a little bit of soldering. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, post them below. If you have a comment or an idea about how to put on a PL259, let me know. I'd like to read about it. And for now, I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for joining me. See you the next time. Thanks.